Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, first of all, I want to thank you to you all guys for your efforts to make this uh, very important online campaign happen in this coronavirus uh, times. Uh, do my voice come in clear? Perfect. Okay. Uh, we in the ex Muslims of Norway are standing with uh, Suhail Arabi and want to show him solidarity and want to help him. Uh, after this uh, online campaign, uh, I hope a lot of uh, people will be aware of the situation of uh, Suhail Arabi and the human rights abuses in the Islamic uh, regime of Iran. I hope uh, a lot of people will sign the petition and uh, show solidarity, solidarity uh, with Suhail. Uh, and uh, we call everyone to join the campaign for supporting Suhail and we demand uh, Iran to release Suhail from prison and repeal uh, blasphemy law, law, laws now. Uh, Suhail Arabi is one of the thousands of the victims of Islamic intolerance, unjust and brutality we are witnessing today. Uh, all of the Islamic history is full with the intolerance and punishments against blasphemers and apostates until today. This has to be changed now. And uh, that's why we all ex-Muslim activists are uh, fighting to normalize acceptance of blasphemy and apostasy in Islam. Our struggle uh, uh, and campaign creating awareness about human rights abuses and crimes against people like Suhail. This is very important and we have to continue with that. Uh, but most importantly, you know, I think it is time for that, especially all Western countries, leaders, politicians, organizations and journalists who advocate human rights have to be really honest and try to take real actions. They are talking too much but doing not, no real actions against regimes like Iran, while people like Suhail suffering all these years in prison. I'm really uh, sick of witnessing hypocrisy in the world, I have to say that. Either they have to stop acting like they are uh, humanists, secular and fighting for human rights, or they have to take action against any country which doing crimes against humanity. A lot of actions can be done to regimes like Iran. I think first of all, you know, uh, those countries where uh, blasphemy is punishable by death penalty have to be discriminated, totally isolated, uh, and excluded from all international platforms and organizations. Uh, they have no places in uh, unions, commissions, or any diplomatic relations until they give the freedom of speech, freedom of conscience, and basic human rights to their people. We need a better world for every human being. So we need people with courage and honesty for to achieve this goal. Keep continuing with the good job that you are doing, guys. And I want to say thank you so much and free Suhail Arabi. Thank you, Jamal. That was uh, very good to see you here. Jamal is the founder of the Ex-Muslims of Norway. Um, and it, it is important that we as uh, international groups uh, of free thinkers, ex-Muslims, atheists, that we continue this fight for Suhail Arabi and others uh, like him. Thank you, Jamal. Thank you, Mariam. Thank you. Bye-bye.